He's Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabolski for EA Sports, set to bring you what should be a fun one here tonight. Colorado's had this quiet demeanor all day. We saw it at the morning skate. They know that they can win a championship tonight, Ray. They were pretty focused this morning, James. I thought they all looked forward to playing tonight. They weren't nervous. They want this game to start. Officials made his way here to center, and this first period is about set to go. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. The Eagles will play it against the wall. Here's a shot, and somehow he got a piece of that one. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still looking for our first goal. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Not able to connect. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. That goes off a twig. Urkamps draws a penalty as he gets hooked. Takes the feed. Urkamps moves the puck. Let's see what the official says here. Salamaki's going off for hooking. A uh, step, a step and a half out of position, and you get called reaching out to try to slow your opponent down. Hershey's sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. They haven't had a power play yet. The game's scoreless. This is a fantastic opportunity to break the ice. And the stick breaks on the shot, and the puck is cleared to a safer spot. And he passes it up ahead to Carr. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Strong. From the slot, scores on the man advantage. They took advantage of the extra time available with a manpower advantage, and they're on the board. Power play takes advantage of that extra man nicely. They move the puck around and set up a shot, but then they have traffic in front of the net, making the goaltender really work to see it. The Bears were preaching good start before this one, and they've done that so far. What a great start for them. They get aggressively after it in the first five Here's minutes the of this period, and they're rewarded with a goal. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. And by number 29, Ken Carr. Time of the goal, 2 minutes, 22 seconds. We're still in the early stages of this period. Hershey's ahead, 1-0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Hangs onto the puck. And they'll dump it in. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Sprong's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Eagles are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty Were you button. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. And that goes wide. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. And manages to clear the zone. Takes the feed. Sends the pass over. Moving into the attacking zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And they can't connect. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Gets it out of his own end. Urkamps takes the puck. Takes the feed from his own end. Excellent stick work on the play. 
And that's broken up with a stick in front. Stopped by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Handles the puck. The Bears move it in. Nice poke check. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Dumps it in. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Feeds it up ahead. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And it's kicked away. Burroughs plays it now. Colorado's moving it up the ice. The Bears have it against the wall. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. From in close. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Coughs it up on the play. Carries it in. Here they are on the attack. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance. Hershey's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Over the line they come. Keeps hold of the puck. Hershey's on the attack. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't catch up to the pass. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. From the slot, wrist shot, and that goes off a player. Burroughs works the puck in his own zone. Receives the pass. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a chance, and he makes the save. Scrum along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Sprong. And it's a quick pass to Carr. Hershey's going to play it from the corner. A shot makes the save. Barron's got it in the defensive end. The Eagles take it along the wall. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Puck sent over to Johansson. Right side sent up ahead into the middle of the ice. Puck dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets in front of it. Pilon's been able to put this team on his back. He's among the league leaders in points in this playoff season. Past the midway mark of the frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Puck picked up by McDonald. Moves it quickly over to Dickinson. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Couldn't complete the play. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Right in front. And he comes up with it. And they can't convert to the play. Slides the puck over. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Into the attacking area from the left side. With the blast! Denies him on the slapper! Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Denied by the goaltender. Hershey's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Colorado's in transition. Here's a chance. Slides it across. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. His reflexes on display tonight. Well, whatever you got to do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Cockley's mask took a little bit of a beating there. Not sure that was the intention. 
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Quick pass over to Timmins. From the left side, takes it at center. Colorado's got the puck in the corner. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Handles the pass from the right wing. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Anderson. Sends a pass over. The Eagles carry it along the wall. Denies him in front. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Johansson's got it through center. Strong defensive effort. And they fail to go tape to tape. Puck picked up in the open ice. Takes the pass. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Scoops up the puck now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sprong. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now he angles it across to Carr. Steps inside. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice pass. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Hershey's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As that's a, that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. Schilling's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great. Other times, not so good. But this is a key moment in this game. A chance to tie it up with the man advantage. 54 seconds. Carr's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. In the final moments of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Colorado's won the faceoff. Takes the feed. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Bears move to the offensive zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. McDonald's getting called for tripping on the play. Now reaches in with his stick and he'll go to the box. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Penalty. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Takes the feed. Blocked in front. Burroughs has it now behind his own net. Colorado's got it against the boards. A shot. That's gloved by Copley. Hershey's got the lead here late in this first period. And there she blows. The horn sounds. That'll do it for this period, number one. A lone goal is the difference so far through the first 20. It's a 1-0 game. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Or on your smartphone. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. The Eagles get a hold of the puck off the draw. Stays with it. A rocker off the blocker. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. The Bears have it against the wall. Centering pass. No one home on that 
play. Manages to hang on. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps back out onto the ice. Slides it quickly to Sprong. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Hammers one at the net. Stops him cold. Bumpy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Quick feed to Carr. Drives it to the crease. Comes up with the stop. Another stop by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Pilon's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Hershey's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Colorado's won the face-off deep in their own end. Throws it in. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Into the offensive zone. The Bears get a hold of the puck. Hershey's got it across the line. Puts it in deep. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Battle along the boards. And the puck's kicked free. Sends the pass over. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Kyle Oskin scores! That's two unanswered now. Now they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. Wow, did he hammer that. Too much power for the goalie to control it. It hits him and still goes in. Hershey's now up by a pair. Still lots of time to go, but they've been good tonight. There's nothing to complain about. Their coaches look like they're pretty satisfied, but this is when you push harder, try and get the third goal and make this thing out of reach. What a steal in his own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Handles the puck. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Wrist shot from the slot, and that's broken up. Quick feed down low. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. He scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. Not close up the wickets, Tendy. That thing's right through your legs. That's a pretty good shot. Goalies hate getting beat through the five hole. The Bears are up big, but they don't look comfortable out there. No, it's like they're nervous that there might be a little bit of pushback from the opponents, although I gotta tell you, after watching this game to this point, I don't see it. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Wrists one. Oh, a clutch save. Copley's tracked that puck so well, he's right there to make the save. Here's a chance, and he misses. That's a really good scoring opportunity that the goalie doesn't even have to make a save on. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Sets 
up from Gretzky's office. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Grabs the puck at center. From the point, looks to make something happen. Glove save, and he handles it with ease. Copley's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The Bears have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Can't find his man. From the right side, they gain the zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Moves it to Sprong. Intercepts it at center. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Slides the puck over. Enters the offensive zone from the left. The Bears played along the boards. Let's it go. What a phenomenal stop by the goaltender there. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Bears have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Pumps the puck away. Picked up along the boards by McDonald. One-timer, and that's blocked. Sends a pass over. Makes his presence known on the ice. Shuts him down. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Through center along the wing. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Hershey's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes it and looks ahead. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And he loses control of the puck. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The shooter really laid into his deep, but the goalie's like reading a children's book. He knew exactly where to be. Hershey's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Dickinson's won the faceoff. Takes the pass. Quick pass to Wagner. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Sends it across. Here's a chance. That pass goes a little sideways. The Bears take it across the blue line. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come. Moves the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Eagles are in transition. Uses the force on that hit. The Bears will play it in their own end. Gets the puck in deep. The Eagles have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And change is coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. The Bears have it now. Nice pass. Strong defensive effort. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Burroughs moves it into the attacking end. Jabs the puck away. Here's a short pass to tries. Taken by Salamaki. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Hershey's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end and manages to clear the zone. 
In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Bears have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. The Eagles win it. Puck grab by McDonald. Good hit on the play. Gets the puck over to Sprong. Smart defensive play there. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves it quickly over to Pilon. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Late goings of this period. Hershey's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Hershey's looking to break out. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by the goaltender. The Bears have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Hershey's got it in the offensive zone. And nearing the final minute of the second, takes a shot, denied by the goaltender. Quick feed to Sherwood. The Eagles take it across the line. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Scrum along the boards. Hershey's got it in their own end with time against them. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Still keeps a hold of the puck. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy game. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for Don't go game. anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Eagles are losing, and really the biggest indication is they haven't had the puck very much at all. A big discrepancy in puck possession time. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. Maintains possession. Gets a stick on it to make the save. Handles the pass in the corner. Takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. The Bears are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it. Takes the feet at the back end. Shot in front. Stopped by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Great puck check on the reach. Now a quick pass to Sherwood. With possession along the wall. Gives them nothing in front. Copley's had a really easy night here, James. 
I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The Bears have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Answered the call there. Takes the feed. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here. A little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. And now it's grabbed by Tries. Sends the pass over. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And he regains control of the puck. How do you... He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. The goalie's not going to want to see the video on this too many times. That's an ugly one. The Bears have put in a complete team effort tonight, but they really look good offensively. Their arms are going to be tired from all the times they've had them up in the air here. This has been a dominating offensive performance. No kidding. Pokes it away at his own end. Handles the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a chance. Turns it away. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Takes a wrist shot. Big save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Here's a rip. Too much traffic in the lane. Nice zone entry from the right side. Colorado's got the puck. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Big play inside the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Gains the zone through center. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Slides the puck over. He scores! This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. The Eagles are going to make a change in goal. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. Hershey's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Sends it in on the attack. Mason Morelli by number 42, Martin Hershey's got it into the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, how do you miss it? Well, you miss it because you're trying to be perfect with it. Really good opportunity that he doesn't cash in. Oh, just wide of the net! From my angle, that looked like it was going in. He just misses that wide. Blocked! Oh, he got it away quickly. The puck just doesn't get to the net. Takes the feed at the point. Hershey's at the back end. Here's a shot. Stops him with the glove. <laughs> Her
Hershey's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Jostled off the puck. Sends a pass over with the stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. One-sided, lopsided, blowout, you name it. 5-0 is where we're sitting. Moves it to Carr. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. The Bears have it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Quick pass to Sprong. Takes the pass. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. I always found this to be a real difficult spot to put a player into. You bring in a relief goaltender. He's cold. Now he's got to keep the game static. He doesn't provide the save here. The Bears could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves the puck. Perfect timing to get on the board. Man, they would have liked this a long time ago, James. They've been working away trying to punch through. They finally get one by the goaltender. Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Eagles have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Colorado's won it. Puck scooped up by Anderson. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Pilon. Takes a shot and makes the save. Time of the goal, 10 minutes, 4 seconds. The Bears have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. Nice job tying up his opponent. And now he moves it quickly to tries. The Eagles looking against the half wall. Denies that opportunity. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Pilon. Colorado's got it behind the net. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is in front. Oh, wide of the net. Moves it quickly over to tries. And that one stopped. Puck moved over to Sprong. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Timmins. Puck picked up by Tries. Wrist one. Oh, what a glove save. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. Copley's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Hershey's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Stones him in front. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Pokes the puck away. Can't connect. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Here's an offensive chance. The Eagles will play the puck from behind the net. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Slides the puck down low. Nice pass. Right in front. He scores! Well, this could be something that changes your year around. You get a few bounces like this, or you don't get a few bounces like this. The puck's off the post in the net. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender.
The Eagles still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the oh, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? And a solid job tying up his opponent. Nice feed from the right wing. Lays into the body on the play. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And let's see what the call is. Molson's called for tripping. He's off to the box. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. At practice, they were working on a cross-crease one-timer. Quick movement side to side. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. The Eagles have it behind the net. Down the right side and into the zone. He's got a step. What hustle. Yeah, he doesn't even get a shot away. Just when he's going to shoot it, the defender closes tight and foils the play. Great back check. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Colorado's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Eagles take it along the wall. Hangs onto the puck. Whiffs on that. Knocked away. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Eagles are on the attack. Here's a backhander. Grand larceny on that stop right there. And a successful clearing attempt. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. He's got it behind the edge. Moves it to Salamaki. Colorado's got it along the wall and makes the save. Copley's got the puck and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. Hershey's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Colorado's won the draw. Puts it to the front of the net. Here's a shot. Wicked glove save to get a piece of that one. And that one's broken up. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Let's see the call here. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, another power play for them here, James. If I were the other team, I'd work really hard about not taking any penalties. Every time they take one, it seems like it's in the back of their net. Four seconds. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. To his teammate, and that one's turned away. With the backhand, big save by the goaltender once again. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Intercepts the pass at center. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. The Bears gain possession in their own end. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Colorado's got possession while undermanned. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. And there's the save. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Bears are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. While the setters are jammed up, nice job. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play.
He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. The Bears have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Slides it diagonally to Pilon. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. How big is that one tonight? Pretty much over if they don't win it. They have to respond down 2 nothing. They do a really nice job. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. This series will continue on, and we will talk to you then. Good night, everybody.